Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? Yeah, this is your boy Daddy Easy here. I put Jailbreak Hacker, otherwise known as Only Use Me Tomahawks. And welcome to a killer gameplay right here. Now, this is a 38 and 8 gameplay. Or is it 38 and 5? I don't remember. But I got a nice little commentary for y'all right here. So, what is the commentary about? Is anybody going to purchase Sleeping Dog that comes out on the 14th? So, for me, that's only like what? A couple of days away because it is Friday. So. I got like what a couple of days before it actually goes. So as you can see, I'm mopping up this place right here. Get another kill right here. Now the way how I play this right here, this is drop zone. Uh, so basically how I'm playing this is I'm every time I go into a sector where I believe that the drop box is going to be at, I clear the area out. So I played the objective part of the game, but I also played a part where I can keep people from getting into our drop zone so we can win this game so basically what i do is i take a lot of chances outside of the area and go towards them so i'll go to the left part of the map or the right part of the map just so i can clear out people from basically getting in so my teammates can get to that drop zone and be able to pick up those care packages and basically win this game so as you can see, I don't do a lot of aiming down the sights. The uh, only time I aim down the sights is when I really, really need to. Other than that, I really don't aim down my sight. It's basically steady aim straight. And I don't even use steady aim as one of my perks. That's one of the good things about actually having a good thing on it. So, Sleeping Dog. Now, um, I just fully paid off Sleeping Dog. I uh, heard about it. I seen it on IGN or Machinima, one of them. And... I wound up just seeing. I was like, "Oh, this game is is, is going to be okay. It's going to be all right." I, I wasn't really sure if I was going to buy it. I'm thinking it's going to be um, Yakuza, the game for the PS3. I'm thinking it's going to be something like that. So I was like, "You know, I'm not going to even buy this. You know, it's going to be another Yakuza game, something like that." So I'm not going to spend the money and go and buy it. Then I seen some of the trailers for it and some of the gameplays. And I decided, I was like, you know what, this game looks hot. You know, I'm going to go purchase it. And it's, this game is, is a mixture. It's like taking Grand Theft Auto 4 and uh, Grand Theft Auto, what is it, San Andreas. Let's just say all the upcoming GTA games. It's like taking all those up-to-date GTA games, Grand Theft Auto, was it, 4? And putting it up with Saints Row the 3rd. Also with Just Cause, Just Cause 2. Uh, what's some of the other open world games? Mixing up with Batman, uh, Spider-Man, and uh, was it Stranglehold? It's like putting all those games in one and creating this epic game. Now, the way how this game mechanic is, is cool. It's basically playing in like the GTA Saints Row thing that's way open world. Now, they're saying that the uh, maps is so big that it covers half of the maps that would be on, um... Grand Theft Auto or well beyond Saints Row. So that's a large map. And also to have the ability to fight. Now watch, watch this. One, two. And I get a third one right there with a double. Come back around. Kill this dude right here. And I die right here. But there's another part right here. I'm going to start spraying now. After I uh, die right here. And I come around the corner. Again. And I get an epic kill right here. A major spray right here. So I'm going to run down this area right here. Throw a, a, a grenade at him. <laughs> Sam Tech. Now, this is why I spray everybody. One, two, reload. Come around here. Three, four, five. Reload right here. Six, seven, and that would have been eight right there. But seven kills right there. That was seven. Go up the steps. Make that eight. And I would have tied it up right here with a nine kill streak right here. But. This dude right here that was camping with his little play, pave low right there um, actually got me. So, yeah. So, but like I was saying, uh, Sleeping Dog, the game. As I was saying, uh, I looked at the game. Um, oh, before I go back into the game, I don't know if it was exactly a 7-kill streak, 8-kill streak. Um, I don't know if that was a double kill, but um, as I'm recording this, it doesn't show me exactly. I just get a little bit of that skip frames for some reason on that Pacific scene because when I was playing it, it actually lagged a little on that part of the game. Hopefully the way I'm editing this uh, this game footage right now, it might show the actual footage of how I actually played it. Just to point something out to y'all. 
like I was saying with Sleeping Dog, um, this game looked like it's going to be real killer. Now, it actually put in some of the mechanics that they had into that Jackie Chan game. I mean, sorry, Jackie Chan, that Jet Li game that they have for the PlayStation 2. I just don't remember the name for it. When he was able to um, play as uh, Jet Li, he had that Crouching Tiger, Hitting Dragon type of style. I just don't remember the name of that game. But you'd be able to do a lot of different counter moves, which I kind of like on it. Being able to take somebody's gun, do the Jackie Chan move that he did in Rush Hour with Chris Tucker, take the gun at him, shoot him with it, uh, be able to take them and throw them into walls, throw them into... Uh, Basically, you can use the environment to basically kill people on it. That's a big plus. I was waiting for a game to come out like that. Have them come full, gunshots and stuff like that. What they trying to do with this game, they don't want it as a, a run around with a gun type of game like GTA. They want this game more as a, 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 a movie game. Look at this. This is how you play it right there. Two people ran at me, thinking they was going to rush me. I was able to shoot both of them, but I had to reload, and that's why this guy caught me. But, like I was saying about with Sleeping Dogs, they trying to make it like an actually Jackie Chan movie and Jet Li movie. You know, like in Jet Li movies and Jackie Chan movies, they don't really use guns. If they do, they might use the gun to karate. When they run out of ammo, they might take the clip out of uh, the magazine out of the gun, throw it at them, or kick the uh, magazine at them, or throw a handle or the um, slider at somebody that's how they makes me want this game to play off it's going to be real hot can't wait to get my hands on it just letting y'all know when it's released on the 14th i will be doing a full gameplay on it so expect to see that so this game is almost over like in our next i say about 10 seconds spray this dude right here try to get back around to get some more kills and that's not going to happen uh I believe when I come up the steps right around here. Actually, no, when I come around here, the game is over. So that's it right there. Check out Stranglehold that's coming out. I mean, Stranglehold. Sorry about that, y'all. Check out Sleeping Dogs that's coming out on the 14th. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace out. Look at this score. Let's check out the score. Look at that. Boom. One. Two.